Let's take a look at some common conversions. Now it's really important that you remember some of these um, common conversions. Um, ideally, you'd be really good at converting between fractions and decimals, fractions and percentages, decimals and percentages, and percentages back to decimals, percentages back to fractions, and decimals to fractions. A lot of people are, are not very good at this, and this is generally one of the main reasons why people struggle with maths. Now, you probably know that one half is 50% and you know that 50% is one half, but are you aware that a half as a decimal is 0 0.5? Are you aware that 50% as a decimal is 0 0.5 and vice versa, of course? You probably know that a quarter is 25%, but do you know that the decimal equivalent is 0 0.25? Three quarters as a decimal is 0 0.75 as a percentage 75%. Again, 75% for three quarters might be one that's uh, familiar to you. Um, one fifth may not be though. One fifth as a decimal is 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 as a percentage is 20%. One fifth as a percentage is 20%. One tenth, nice and easy, is 0 0.1 and that is 10%. So when you're calculating a tenth of an amount, you're just working at one tenth of it, so dividing by 10. One twentieth, certainly not familiar to most people I tutor, as a decimal is 0 0.05 and as a percentage is 5%. And the fraction of one over one, bit of an unusual fraction, you'll probably never see that, but that represents one whole in a, um, and as a decimal, well, that's just the number one. You could write 1.0, but just one, and that is 100%. So make sure you learn these uh, common conversions. Maybe do a few flashcards, uh, get tested on, you know, what 0 0.25 as a percentage, 25%. Hopefully you can see a link between the decimal and, and the percentage. It's uh, generally there's a few problems between going between decimals and percentages and vice versa. Normally the problems arise when you're going from decimals to fractions or fractions to decimals or fractions to percentages, percentages to fractions. So now to convert fractions to decimals and percentages, um, to go from a fraction to a decimal, all you need to do is divide. Divide the top by the bottom. So if we take a look at three quarters on the calculator, you just need to type in three divided by four and three divided by four is 0 0.75. Two fifths as a decimal, two divided by five and that is 0 0.4. 17 divided by, or 17 twentieths, that can be written as, uh, well, that can be typed into a calculator rather as 17 divided by 20. Just remember that the line in a fraction means divide and 17 divided by 20 is 0 0.85. One tenth, that is one divided by 10 and one divided by 10 is 0 0.1. So to go from fraction to the decimal, divide the top by the bottom. To go from the decimal to a percentage is very easy. All you do is multiply by 100. So 0 0.75 multiplied by 100 that is 75%. So three quarters is 0 0.75, 75%. Two fifths, 0 0.4 as a decimal, multiply that by 100, we get 40%. 0 0.85 is the decimal equivalent of 17 twentieths. And as a percentage, we just need to multiply 0 0.85 by 100, and that is 85%. One tenth is 0 0.1 as a decimal, so to turn that into a percentage, multiply that by 100 and we get 10%. So remember fraction to decimal, divide top by bottom, decimal to percentage, multiply by 100. Therefore, to go from fraction, from a fraction to a percentage, you divide top by bottom and multiply by 100. Now we're going to go backwards. Um, now if you're converting a percentage to a decimal. Remember when we went from a decimal to a percentage, we multiplied by 100. So to go from a percentage back to a decimal, we divide by 100. So 95% is 0 0.95, 25% is 0 0.25. Hopefully you can see a pattern here. Really all I'm doing is just sticking a zero and a dot in front of these numbers. Um, so 40% is 0 0.4. Some people will say it's 0 0.40. It is 0 0.40, but that zero is not doing anything useful, so it doesn't need to be there. 50% is 0 0.5 or 0 0.50, but again, that zero is adding no value whatsoever, so let's just call it 0 0.5. Now, we do need to be careful with um, 5%. I know a lot of people that would say 5% is a decimal with 0 0.5, but 50% was 0 
5% is 0 0.05. 5 divided by 100, type that into the calculator and you'll see it's 0 0.05. Now this is probably the hardest part, going from decimals to fractions. Now when we've got um, two decimal places, we are talking about hundredths. So 90, 0.95 is 95 hundredths. 0 0.25 is 25 one hundredths. When you've only got one decimal place though, you are talking tenths. So 0 0.4 is 4 tenths. 0 0.5 is 5 tenths. And 0 0.05, we have two decimal places now, so that is hundredths again, 5 over 100. So when you see a number with two decimal places, we're dealing in hundredths. One decimal place, we're dealing with tenths. Um, another way to go from a percentage to a fraction is perhaps just seeing, remembering that the word percent means out of 100. So 95% means 95 out of 100. 25% means 25 out of 100. So what we've done here is we've converted all these decimals into fractions, but we can simplify the fractions. 95 over 100, both numbers can be divided by 5. 95 divided by 5, that was a bit awkward actually, but 95 divided by 5 is 19. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So 95% as a fraction is 19 twentieths. 25 over 100, you can divide, well, we. You can divide both by top and bottom by 25 if, you, if you've spotted that, but maybe you didn't. Maybe you spotted that you can divide both numbers by 5, in which case that becomes 5 over 20, and 5 over 20, that can be simplified again. Divide top and bottom by 5, 1 quarter. And maybe you knew anyway that 25% was a quarter. 4 tenths, 2 even numbers, so dead easy. Divide top and bottom by 2, you get 2 fifths, so 40% is 0 0.4, which is 4 tenths, otherwise known as 2 fifths. 50% is 0 0.5, which is 5 tenths, but 5 tenths can be simplified to 1 half, and I guess you knew, hopefully, that 50% is a half, but and now, now you can see why. 5% as a decimal was 0 0.05, um, which we turned into 5 one hundredths. Now we can divide the top and the bottom by 5, so 5 divided by 5 is 1, 100 divided by 5 is 20, so 5% or 0 0.05 is 1 twentieth. So to recap, Percentage to a decimal, just divide by 100. Decimal to a fraction, turn it into hundredths or tenths and then simplify. Or if you want to just go direct from percentage to fraction, remember that percent means out of 100. So write the percent amount as a fraction out of 100 and then simplify until you break it down to a fraction in its simplest terms.